Hey everybody, welcome back to another Deck Profile Friday. This one here, we're going to cover a deck from a old school format, but not crazy old school. And actually, it's a new old school format. And we're going to be talking about uh, the 2020 format. So, the, for those that don't know, the 2020 format, there's obviously a bunch of different sets. But we're going to be looking at, uh, you know, the sets that were uh, used for the probably the biggest event of the summer and quite possibly the year, the Players' Cup, uh, you know, uh, tournament. And we're going to be looking at one of the top four decks in the finals. And that deck is Inteleon VMAX with... Frostmoth, and you know, and a very well-known player named Tord Reklev played this deck. You know, the deck, um, the cards from it are, you know, from uh, Sun and Moon Team Up all the way to Sword and Shield Darkness Ablaze, right? Which is awesome. And, um, yeah, this deck was really cool. It actually led to a battle deck being released. Uh, I think earlier that year or uh, in 2021. So that's pretty cool. So without further ado, let's get into the deck. And to start, we have three Inteleon VMAX and four Inteleon V. These are from Rebel Clash. No, these are not the Rapid Strike ones, right? They did have a Rapid Strike one and the original one. And this is the original one there from Rebel Clash. Inteleon V, 200 HP, 2 Retreat, no Resistance, Weakness to Lightning. First attack for a Water, a Snipe Shot. This attack does 40 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. And don't apply Weakness and Resistance for Banished Pokemon. Yada, yada, yada. Second attack there for two water and a colorless. Aqua report does 130. Your opponent reveals their hand. So that's kind of meh, right? It's mainly there for Inteleon VMAX. Now the VMAX is what makes it really good, right? And this card actually is a, you know, a very surprising card. Because it, 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 it can just do a lot. You know what I mean? Um, so it's got 320 HP. Same uh, lower half as the V. Right? Now. This card here is really good. For two reasons. Right? Um, and, and it's really both attacks. Right? Right? Uh, you got the first attack, Hydro Snipe. It does 60. And, um, you know, you, uh, pardon me, uh, you may put an energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon back in their hand. Right? That's Hydro Snipes for 60. So that's a pretty good attack. You know, you're able to get rid of those special energies or um, energies that, you know they don't really have like a like a high count on or stuff like that. Um, then it's second attack there, right? The main attack, max bullet for two water and a colorless. It does one sixty, and it does sixty damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. So this is really good because. You're able to set up KOs, you know. The Oranguru uh, from Sword and Shield base is 120 hit points, right? Two um, of those attacks, right, you know, knocks it out. The 160 also is very critical because of the amount of Dedene GX, that was being played in this format, right? And that has 160 HP, right? The Crobat V in this format has 180 HP, 
right? So all that would take, you know, is a couple zigzagoons, right, to knock it out. But the big reason is that with Max Bullet, if we're able to take, you know, two sh snipes with that, and that 120, the 260s, you can stack it up as a 120. You know, if you put that on a tag team, right, like Pikachu and Zekrom GX or Ar Arceus, Dalga, and Pelkia GX, tag team GX, right? They both have 280 hit points, right? So when you go for that third attack, right? you're able to get that knockout. And that's a crazy thing with this. Pretty cool. Um, and then obviously, like, you know, any, you know, small benchers, you know, any other zigzagoons and stuff like that, just, just like the chill on the bench, that helps. This helps it. Cool. So now we go on to the support Pokemon, two Frostmoth, and three Snom, right? Three Snom is probably, you know, uh, so we don't prize, you know, or, or don't have access to, you know, only one of them or none of them in a game, right? We need to get, you know, just at least one Snom in play. Uh, preferably two, so we can get both into Frostmoth. Uh, it's pretty much average, everything with the card. 50 HP, one retreat, no resistance. Weakness to metal, and then ram for 10 for Cullis. It's pretty much average. The Frostmoth there is pretty average in everything except for its ability. Ice Dance. As often as you like during your turn, you may attach a water energy card from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon. So that's a pretty good one, right? And this is what makes the deck. And then, yeah, like I said, 90 HP, 2 Retreat, Resistance to Nothing, Weakness to Metal, and then Aurora Beam there, a Water and a Colorless for 30. Pretty average. You're not going to be attacking with this. You're just going to be letting it camping out in the, on the bench. Our draw cards. Two Crobat V for dark assets. Nothing else. Our other draw card is two Dedene GX. Right? Uh, where we can data change, discard our hand, and draw six. So this is right. I like the two in combination here. We can draw lots of cards. If you're able to get a research off with this, right, with these, right, six and six, that's 21 cards you would have drawn in one turn. And that is crazy. And then lastly, some other small attackers and support Pokemon. A Lapras V, 210 HP. Um, its attacks are not too bad, right? And the 210, um, you know, can knock out, you know, a few things like Bolton V, you know, the Crobat V, the Dedenne GX, right, etc. It's 10 damage off of a, a Zation V. But we do play two of these guys, Glare and Zigzagoon, to help with that, right? To hit those numbers that we can't hit by putting an extra 10 damage somewhere. And then lastly, a single prize attacker in Suicune. Pretty cool. All right, and Suicune's not too bad either. Awesome. Trainers, supporters, and stadiums. Supporters first. Our main draw cards for Marnie. Love it. The best draw card in the game for Professor's Research. And then, triple bosses orders. Because we need to knock out things when we need to knock them out. 
cool, cool. And then our stadium training court. All right. When we did any change, we need access to the energy that's been discarded. So a training court helps us. And that is it for the supporters and the stadiums. Now on to the item cards. Items and tools. We got four Pokemon communication. Right? We can swap a Pokemon from our hand and deck. Four quick ball. Right? Get basic Pokemon into play. Literally the best um, you know, ball search card in the game. Pretty much probably this the game that, you know, um, well, actually, Ultra Ball is pretty good, but one of the best ball search cards that we've ever had in the game. Triple Scoop Up Net, so that's mainly used for the Zigzagoon. Get that damage where we need to. Triple Air Balloon, this is how we retreat for free. Two Capacious Bucket to search out water energies. And then two Evolution Incense to search out our evolution. So Frost Moth and then Teleon VMAX. Pretty cool. And that is it for the item cards. So now the last bit. Um, obviously, you know, it's a water deck. So we got to play water energy and we got nine, nine water energy. There we go. Awesome. So that is the deck, everybody. This is Inteleon VMAX with Frostmoth, right? The whole point is just to load up Inteleon and then attack where we need to attack and our preference is to take cheap prizes, right? Matchup wise, the probably the the hardest matchup is Pikachu and Zekrom GX, uh, just because of typing, right? Um, other things like ADPization, I think you can go toe to toe with it. I think it's a 50-50 match, right? Uh, I'm not really too sure about anything else, though, so you should probably go ask Tord. But, yeah, there you go, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Deck Profile Friday. Don't forget to check out Opening Sunday and then some of my other videos that I post during the week. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to, you know, obviously like, comment, subscribe, all that mumbo jumbo and yeah the well we're still doing that giveaway at 250 subscribers so I'll just throwing that out there and yeah we're going to be opening up some pokemon 151 coming up pretty soon right i really i believe it releases like next week so that we'll we'll be doing that uh you know probably till uh paradox rift comes out so cool cool and yeah there you go everybody thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next video